Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh the slip Oh fuck. Run, run, run. Don't leave Vess behind there, Lord. Oh, oh, there's Ace, okay. Ace, why are you as slow as right now? Oh, hiding in a bus. This is going to end well. That's not going to keep it out. I don't like the name Gil. I just Did you say it. I don't like the name. Did you bring the money? This is not the time about that what? right now. I believe the terms are Focus on living with your influence. Don't forget the money. Your body is shutting down. Let us help you. Alright. Oh, ouch. 850. Is he negotiating? How really? He negotiates while they're dying and she has the medicine. Then you don't get the insulin. Take it away from him. Then you die, bitch. Lord. How does Nick know about it? Insulin and all that. Yeah, and you didn't, you didn't want the insulin because you were guilt. Okay. Okay. That depends on how it finds its victim. According to local legend, it sniffs you out by your fear. So just also, don't be afraid. Yeah, just don't be afraid while you're being attacked. <laughs> this is this good. <laughs> oh god. I'm very nervous. That was my first day at the claw. And it's a good day. Yeah. It was. It was okay. Oh, the body over the first day. Right this way. We get to do the first day together. Oh. When she and Nick first met, oh damn. Uh, could I, uh, that could I, spark right could there I is. Ooh. Please. I met somebody by the pier. Alright, I bumped into him again. Oh, Nick. It was Nick. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Feelings are sparking back up. Damn, Gil. The hand, saw the hand. No, 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 they will only follow us. You got the dead. Let the other go. If you can only sense my fear, I didn't know give them enough time to Oh, no, you can't sacrifice yourself, bitch. Where's Nancy? Nancy, please don't get yourself killed. Don't be a martyr. Oh, gosh, she's thinking about everything. Oh, shit. She has a lot to be afraid of. She has so much to be afraid of. This wraith is going to overdose. What is this wraith doing on the wall? It looks like it's like using its full body on it. Holy shit. Oh, does not like fire? Ooh. Good job. Get that out. Get Get it out, get it, come on, yes, come on, girls. Run now, run now, to run. Oh, damn. She's really killing the wraith. Damn, Nancy. It's like supernatural up in here. on a bungalow case in middle school. Oh. Can I get a knife? Now your first mirror mystery, huh? Okay, so what if though the mirror is actually useful, the mirror part of it? What if it was oh Ooh, I love a good riddle or poem or mystery hidden behind something. From Sailor Spirit you seek keeper of the deep. Her truth lies hidden in their sea shanty. Sea shanty. So the 
key to defeating the entrance. What are we gonna do? Oh god. What now? Oh, hit for him now. Hit for him. What's that old saying? Where well, there's smoke, there's a miscreant team sleuth who's about to be arrested. Arrested? On what? what grounds? Yeah. Possession of stolen property. What? Oh. I got a positive ID on Amanda right after Nancy left. Yeah, well, if you don't want me to resist arrest, I need to see my sister. I hate this detective, but he's so hot. Gilbert. Chariot awaits. His name is Gilbert? Okay, so I like Gil more than Gilbert. It's your lucky night. So I am growing on you. <laughs> Everyone grows on grows for Nancy eventually. Like, they okay. all love her. He, he's gonna fall for you, Nancy. Yeah, he's gonna end up liking you eventually. It's gonna happen. Well, what I didn't tell them was you can't steal a family heirloom that belongs to your actual family. That's true too. <laughs> so it's it's so 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 stealing. So it was taken without permission. He got the mirror back for her. From the ground up because I fired you, huh? Because I was wrongfully accused of murder. Not yeah, that probably ruined his business a little bit. What's going on with Nancy? I saw you with her. Yeah, that's that's between her and I. It's a family matter. If she's oh, in damn. trouble, if she's in trouble, oh. that doesn't concern you. Or I can tell this entire town exactly who Nancy is. And getting charged for kidnapping now that that Austin, would be great for business. No, either. Ryan. I mean, Ryan. Don't don't even try to threaten them. Because if you did Are you that. That would freak it. No. That would ruin your relationship with Nancy completely. Just let you know that I could ruin you if I chose to. Right here. Every time I think he's a good guy, hey, he says something don't let me so hold bad. Mail ticket's waiting for you. Brian, ugh, sometimes you just need a good slap in the face. No way. What? How is his truck there? Cliff, what do you want to bet? It would land on a flock of seagulls that would fly its ass right back up here. I'd I was going to say, all. like, someone would find it and bring it back, but yeah, you maybe. Michael wants us to die in this truck. The ace really should stay away from every place that has hooks. Oh, God, ace, stay, you're too close to it already. I don't like you being near it. Don't, don't be near it. And I really want to make it right. Ace? Talk to Nancy. She's that. your bestie. You me. need to fix things. You're not a Hudson. Please don't. Just because I'm mad at you doesn't mean I want to lose you. Oh, he's okay as a battle. He's just a little upset. Oh, no. Oh, shit. This is a great guy's annoying. Oh, I'm so scared. I still may not know who I am. I have to find a way to survive this curse. If not for myself, then for my friends. Yes. Do it, Nancy. I believe in you. Time to go find a sea shanty. Who's gonna save us? Please. Nancy's back. An action, new mystery. I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was a great episode. Great, great episode. Ooh, so excited. <gasps> Yay. Honestly, great premiere. I think I, it, it could have been slightly better just because I felt a little slow at some point, but it really kind of just felt like the next episode of season one, like episode 15, like next episode. It doesn't feel as much like a whole new season because it continues right off. It just continues the storyline like we have not been waiting for months for this. Which is both great and both not great. I don't know, right? Mm. Yeah. But um, I wrote a lot of notes here, Lord. There's a lot of character interaction in this episode. My, ooh, what I'm nervous about is the Glaco. That's one of the big things. The fact that it obviously seems like, um, what were they calling it? The possible deaths? Obviously, I'm pretty sure that's, like, yeah, at this point, what we've seen, it's the exact death that the Glaker has planned for them. 
And it's not just the exact kind of deaths, it's the exact places. Because that same hook from the claw is what happened in the truck, too. And the Glake is not letting them walk away from it, not letting them get away from it in any way. Which is even scarier than just not knowing when it's going to happen, where it's going to happen. Cause the fact you know you know where it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, you just don't know when it's going to happen, and if you could stop it. That's fucking scary. <sighs> It's going to drive them all insane, I swear. So, beginning of this episode, we started with Jane Doe. Uh, with um, Nan calling out Nancy's name and a number on her hand. That was cool. And then she had a partner and everything. Turns out to be twins. And that brings me to Gil. Or, oh wait, Gilbert. Awful name. Do not like Gil or Gilbert as a name. Gil, though, makes Gilbert way better, so... He's working with what he's got, at least. He's trying. Honestly, <laughs> I slightly like Gil. Like, a part of me deep in the back likes Gil, but from first glance of meeting him, he's such a dumbass. My god, that entire conversation when they get on the bus, and they have insulin for him. He's literally going into shock and about to die, yet he's discussing raising up the price for the mirror. Like, my god. Like... Get the insulin first. They have the thing that could save your life. You still have the mirror, so just get the insulin and then discuss this. Like, there's better time than this. This is not a good time. Can't you tell you're dying? Like, shut up and... Ugh. Not the first... Not the best first impression. But he does seem like a genuinely, like, nice guy with his sister and everything, so... We'll see. I have a feeling Gil, but Gil is going to be around some more. just have a feeling that he's going to be popping out there throughout the season. Maybe the whole season. Maybe he's a new cast member. Maybe he's just a recurring cast member. I don't know. I feel like I remember seeing a while ago new cast members added to the show. But I honestly just can't remember if it was or something I'm just imagining. I imagine a lot of things. I swear, half the time I think my dreams are real. It's not healthy. <laughs> Okay, um, and I want to talk about how there are so many freaking urban legends in, um, Hoshu Bay, like, a lot of urban legends, and then all of them are true? What the fuck is wrong with this place? What happened here? What happened that made all these urban legends come? Like, is it, um, like, Mystic Falls, where everyone's just attracted here? What the fuck is going on? Or oh, Beacon Hills? Like, it's one of those towns that just supernatural things are just attracted to, apparently. I just hope this show, unlike some of other shows, will explain why. We'll see. Maybe in like season three or four, they'll be like, there's a reason why all these things are attracted here. Let's solve the mystery. I don't know why I did that voice for that. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, um. Oh, I just took a little note how I like Bess that made a Twitter page, a, a Twitter account for Nancy. Honestly, I think it's quite brilliant. With nowadays, like, no, social media and technology and everything, why not put some information out there and see if anyone's got answers or help? It might be a little easier if you have no idea, no clues or anything, you just, you need something. Like, it worked out. They got the mirror. They got some clues. They wouldn't have done that without the Twitter tweet. Good job, Bess. I love Bess. I really do not want to see a blend at the stake. No. 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 And speaking of the mirror, uh, it was interesting. I like how they, uh, I don't know how Nancy just knew it, um, was the mirror from that book that she saw, and there was a book with a picture this big, with a little mirror in the hand of someone this big, and she somehow remembered and somehow noticed there was a snake thing on it, and it was the same mirror. It's ridiculous. I don't know how realistic that was, but I love Nancy, and she's a genius, and I'm gonna give it to her. Why not? And I like that she just somehow knew to break the mirror, to look underneath it. Like, what if you actually had to use the mirror in a ceremony or ritual or something? Because then you would have just broken the mirror and you would not be able to use it. That would have been a bummer. If you just broke the object you would try to find that could have helped you. <laughs> that would have been awkward, too. Okay. So now let's talk about the wraith. That was a cool creature. I like that. And the fact that it, like, sniffs out fears. It was like, it's not, like the craziest, coolest creature in the world. It's a little basic, but it looked cool, and, like, the sound of it, and it just, I like the name Wraith. I've, I feel like I've heard Wraiths from other things before, but I don't know where. Like a video game, or a 
book. I don't know. A wraith. Oh god, that's gonna bother me where I remember hearing a wraith from before. What do you guys know wraiths from? Like, let me know. And I love that it ended up being afraid of fire. It seemed a little easy, but I'll take it. And the fact that Nancy just killed a wraith all on her own with barely any effort. It's kind of amazing. She's like a supernatural killer now. She's she's becoming a monster hunter. And I'm loving it. Okay. And I gotta say, I really love the whole Scooby Gang thing this entire episode. They're like, they're really working as a team. While there is some stuff to work out, which we'll discuss in a little bit between all of them. All together, when they are like in gang mode, they're like ready to go. They're moving. They're, everyone's got orders. They're going in their spots. They're going everywhere. It's great. They know what they're doing at this point. They had a whole season of it. They've all learned and know what they're all good at. It's, it's working. And I'm liking it. And, okay. Oh, God. And then we had to see Everett, which is annoying that he obviously got bail. He's rich and all. So he got bail, got out. Now he has his trial that we have to worry about, which I'm guessing is going to be a major thing this season. His trial and who's to get blame. And Ryan has to deal with, like... He takes down his father. He's basically taking him down, too. He's himself down. That's That's got to be a hard choice. Ugh, I feel I feel bad for Ryan sometimes. He is really put in the spot. But as I'll discuss, Ryan is an uh, interesting character. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, Nick and George. The fact that they are together and not have to, and not told Nancy, I feel like it's so stupid. Because they should have just told her. And I'm pretty sure she saw their hands together on the bus. So maybe she already knows now. And she's going to... She realized it. And they're going to eventually say it. And be like, oh yeah, I already knew. And she'll be fine with it. Because I think she will be fine with it. I don't think she'll have any problem with it. She moved on from Nick. She ended it. She moved on with Owen. And yeah, Owen's dead and all. But she's not going to go back to him. But <laughs> that's what I thought at least. Until that scene on the bus when they were discussing when they first met. And they had that glance. I don't like it. I don't need a threesome right now. I don't, a threesome, I mean a love triangle, <laughs> not a threesome, <laughs> oops, I don't think we need a love triangle, I don't think we need that really, I think we could go without it, CW really likes love triangles in all of their shows, my god, like Legacies, Originals, Vampire Diaries, all the Arrowverse shows, it's ridiculous, stop it, we don't need love triangles just because there's teenagers here. But well, they're not even teenagers, they're young adults. Any shows. No show. Stop with the love triangles. Stop it. Don't need it. Nancy is too grown up and smart for love triangles. She doesn't love... I think she might still have some feelings for Nick, but I don't think she really loves him that much. I think she's, she can move on. Please. Like, Lord. Okay, then we have... We have a lot of... I wrote a lot of names with Nancy and, like, interactions. So first we kind of have Ryan and Nancy. They had, like, two times talk. I get... I get... I get both of their sides from where they're both standing. Because Nancy just... It's only been a little while she's known to this. She needs time. She needs to figure this shit out. She can't deal with it too much. And I... But I also get Ryan, how he helps her, and then she just doesn't want anything to do with him, but takes the help... And it feels like being used, and it feels weird, and like, why she can't just give him a shot, but at the same time, she needs some time, maybe she just doesn't know what to do. It's a very confusing and unusual situation. Okay, and then we have Ace and Nancy. That was so sad to see, I swear. I love Ace and Nancy. Their friendship is adorable, and it's not like Ace and Bess are like a really fun relationship. I love the two of them, the, uh, the Plank Platinkos. But Nancy and Ace are more like, they're both really good at what they do. Hacker and a detective, and they work well together, and they're like those old best friends that just understand each other and like care for each other a lot. They've known each other for long enough that they're like, they can just give a look and be like, yeah, I understand, kind of thing. And I love them, and I really hope Ace can move past this. I understand him, though. It's, she got them in all this, and he's afraid of dying. He's seen his, he literally had to see himself die. Like, well, that's gotta be scary. And now, yeah, she's, it, it is, she is to blame in, a, in some way or form. So, I can't blame him. I just hope they can move past it. I really hope they do. Okay, and then we have, 
I already talked about Nancy and Nick, so that's not much. The last thing is the whole Ryan and Cawson thing. I swear, Ryan bothers me so much. Every time he's, like, about to do something nice, or he does something nice, he suddenly turns around and does something stupid, says something stupid, or mean, or rude, or ignorant, and it's just like, my God. He just goes one step too far. He needs to stop talking at a certain point. He needs to learn that. Because I get Carson is not technically Nancy's father, but he's been there the whole time. And if you did anything, if he, if Ryan were to fuck up Carson's life and, like, ruin him and get him in jail or something, Nancy would never forgive him. I know for a fact. Nancy might not be loving Carson right now, and the fact that she's calling him Carson, not dad, is a big thing. But I think in deep inside, she does still love Carson, and she has to take time to just deal with it, and she... Still does love him, so if anything were to happen, she would go on Carson's side first over Ryan. Because, well, history. Time. Time is everything, and she's known Carson longer. Sorry, Ryan. You may be blood, but she barely knows you, and what she does know of you, you don't always do great things. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you guys. That's really it for this episode. I really liked it. I can't wait for next week's. I really hope you enjoyed this. And remember, if you like my video and you want to support my channel, to leave a thumbs up. Press that subscribe button down below. And also press that notification bell. That will let you know right away when new episodes or videos are uploaded. And you can be the first ones to watch and comment on them. And speaking of commenting, don't forget to look down below into the comment section and comment what you thought about this episode. What you thought about something I said. What you liked about the episode. Didn't like about the episode. Uh, what theories of what may happen. Let me know. I love to theorize with people. Like, this is my jam. My peanut butter and jam. I don't know why I said that. I am tired. I'm going to go to bed like right after this. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching so much. I have talked a lot about this. That's how excited I love this show so much. So excited. I, I keep trying to get people into it more and more. The problem is Sun CW. So that kind of pushes some people away who just are not into those CW shows. But I think it, Nancy Drew is one of the more different CW shows. It just doesn't feel as much like them. It feels kind of more like it could be an like a Netflix streaming show more. More on the side of... I want to say it's like Chilling Images of Sabrina. It feels like maybe like old CWWB kind of stuff. You know, like on Veronica Mars, One Tree Hill. More like the classic WB beginning of CW. Not this new kind of... No offense CW. I do like CW, but they a lot of the stuff they go very campy and very... I don't know. Wait, the white what to say it, but like Riverdale, the Arrowverse, great stuff sometimes, but they just they go more for the the flash than they do the in the quantity than they do the quality, the good writing, acting. They, it feels very rushed and just like everything they do is for the fans and not for actually the show. If you get what I mean, right? Nancy Drew doesn't feel like that, at least to me. I'm sure I'm pissed off people by saying some of this, but it's my opinion. It's just my opinion. A lot of people love that kind of stuff. I'm fine with that. It doesn't hurt me. I hope what I said didn't hurt you. Yeah. Okay. Really gotta go now. We talked a lot. Really hope you enjoyed. Bye.